Welcome back to CBS 2 News Saturday morning. We are tracking the storm in your first alert weather. Here's a live look right now heading north on the Palisades in Rockland County. Now let's check in with John Elliott, who's tracking the storm in the Weather Center. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, everybody. So that is our colleague Matt Glassoff in one of our mobile units, and the cameras are mounted. He's obviously hands at 10 and 2, so he's north of us here. This is 57th Street. It's just wet. Just checking with one of our weather watchers, Charlie Hoffman in Narrowsburg. He's already got two inches of snow, had some freezing rain, and now it is changed over to all snow. 44. Oh, we are going to miss this by this time tomorrow morning. So first off, the temperatures, maybe a 10, 15 degree spread, almost still 50 through the Twin Forks, mid 40s with torrential rain right now for Monmouth and Ocean County. But look at this, 39 in Sussex, 34 in Middletown. All of this cold air wants to come through. It is one of the reasons why this is such a dynamic storm. It's warmer here along the East Coast when you do the 24-hour change, but look at that cold air sinking in western PA, upstate New York. So, again, their wind chills right now are in the single-digit range. We have mild numbers for March, but we're going to have to say goodbye to that because it will be blown away. Few reports of some power outages because of the wind. That could be a little bit more widespread this afternoon. Rain will change to snow for more of the area, and it migrates from west to east. Temperatures are going to crash from the 40s into the 20s, and with the wind, it'll feel much colder. Those gusty winds could pose different problems, impacting visibility. It will be very hard for commercial vehicles, and good luck, commercial vehicles. I hate to say it. So many roadways restricted now because of the wind and rain, and then single digits by Sunday morning. So, big view. Again, lots of snow. Upstate New York, PA, down through Maryland, and into Virginia and the Carolinas. Brighter colors immediately grab your mind's eye, and you can see that heavy rain now for more of Somerset, Middlesex, Monmouth County, and that's going to push in through Brooklyn and into Queens and out for more of Nassau County over the Sound as well. What's interesting, you see that bright blue there in parts of Putnam County? That's that blinding snow, and then it turns into just light snow. Here's the line right now, West Essex right now, with elevation, maybe that hill in Verona, maybe a few flakes, but then it, you lose it. It goes back and forth. Look at this is very, very heavy rain. The advisories, now the winter storm warning for more of the area, north and west. Winter weather advisory speaking to the likelihood that you will see winter driving conditions even in the city. That wind advisory for the gusts between 40 and 50 miles an hour, that not only will usher in the chance for more power outages, but that also brings in all of that really, really cold air. So that's why it is a first alert weather day. You're doing the right thing, hanging out with Cindy and John. Just stay there. If you do have to go out, you have to factor in extra time and then extra layers Sunday. Hey, next week, party time. We are going to be back in the 60s. Cindy. John, thank you.